Hey everyone, welcome to episode number two of myself and Mark editing your photos. First of all, thank you so much for everyone that has submitted a photo. It's been a lot of fun creating these videos. I hope this one is just as fun. Now we're gonna try to keep it a little bit shorter than the previous one, uh, especially because of Mark, to be honest, because he did push the limits quite a bit. So we're gonna have a counter on each image just to keep us in check. And we're aiming anywhere between three to four minutes per edit, hopefully faster. Um, just to speed things up So you know the drill I'll edit one mark will edit one will switch off and at the end you'll see the results From both of our edits. So without further ado, let's get the intro rolling and the video started Okay, and this one's by Cameron Smith, uh, backlit photo, those are usually hard. Okay, Canon 60, 24 of 105. So I'm not gonna lie, it's probably gonna be a challenging one. Um, but I saw in Mark's Facebook group the other day, someone he, using the dehaze uh, in an interesting way. So I'm gonna try to replicate that. I'm not gonna do it on the whole picture though. I'm just going to use it on the sun there. See if it works. Yeah, okay. You see how the the rays just get a little bit more defined? So yeah, let's let's keep that. Right. Now, editing this picture. It's a little bit underexposed, not too much though. Although what I think I'm going to have issues with here is the actual uh rider here. But let's work on everything else first. Shadows, whites, yeah, definitely want to bring them down. See, look at that, yeah. We're not going to be able to recover everything, I don't think. And that's okay. And what else? Texture might actually work on this one. Let's see. Okay, see it's getting defined a little bit. A hundred, maybe it's too much. Around 61 maybe. Okay, I like that. Now, I want to bring down the sky just a little bit. So let's go to the exposure. Just this corner. Okay, just a slight radial. And same for this one. Some sort of uh, one-sided vignetting to focus even more on the rider. Okay, now working on the rider itself, I think we're going to have to work on the blacks there. So I'm going to try to grab a radial filter that affects him, or most of him anyway. Which is going to be hard because he's smacked by the sun. It'd be nice if he was covering it or quite far away from it. Actually, let's ignore the wheel. Let's just go in. Okay, now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay, so let's check the before. And the after, slightly underexposed still. But I'm happy with that. Maybe cropping. I actually like this crop, to be honest. Just for YouTube, it'd be better if it was 16 by 9, because then you can go full screen with the picture. But no, you know what? No, I like the crop that he had. So uh, let's go back on that. See... Some of the commands I cannot press because it would stop recording um, the movie. But uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Let's just go tab, press Y. Yeah, it's it's a challenging one to edit for sure. I'm going to have a hard time keeping myself under four minutes, but I think I'll manage. Um, yeah, this would be my edit for this picture. Thank you for submitting it, Cameron. So that's my edit, Mark. Now back to you. Right, great image here from Cameron. Thanks for sending this in, Cameron. Cracking angle. 
So what we're going to do first, a crop, but not too much I don't think. Again, I'd like the cyclist to be going into a bit of space, so let's just give him a bit of space that way. Horizons wise, well, I'm going to leave it as it is. I think, I don't know, if, I don't know if we could twist it or not. We could possibly bring it round a bit. Should, I'm just looking at these trees in the centre. If he's on a wide angle, should that be vertical? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Will it work like that? I don't know if they should be vertical really or not. I'm just looking at these two trees that's either side of the cypress that's framing the cypress nicely. I'll tell you what, let's just have a look at that. How's that looking? If I bring it round. I'm not going to go anymore because I don't want to lose any more room, but that's sort of vertical now with these trees going in. Well framed, Cameron, it's great. Right, I'm going to use my F5 ca uh, action again, see what it does. Oh, that's not bad actually. Right, I wonder if I can get rid of these with the content aware tool. Let's hit L. I'm just going to go, let's go round all of it and see what it does. Might oh, just be nice to get rid of that bit of glare. Just takes your eye off the cyclist a bit. Off the mountain biker. I wonder what this will do. Probably might make a mess. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We can work with that. Right, I'm going to use the clone tool. Crack it 1 minute 37 already. Just going to use the square brackets. I'm just going to clone those bits of green out. So, let me do it. And I'm just going to it's just got a bit smaller on the brackets. Just want to take that down there a little bit if I can. Just colour that in a bit because there wasn't a gap there before. Cheating a bit with the clone tool, I know, but I think it'd be better than a glare. I'd love to know if Cameron left it in on his edit or not. Right, that's okay. Let's go for a slightly larger brush. I'm going to go down on the opacity a bit to 65% and see if I can just get rid of this green a bit. How's that looking? That's better. That's better, isn't it? Let's just take that down a bit. Let's see if we can just get rid of that bit there and then I'm going to zoom out and see how it looks. Still see quite a lot of green, can't you? Can you or not? That's not bad. I don't think you would know it was there. I don't want to mess around too much because I'm wasting time on this. Let's just get rid of that bit of green there. A little bit of green there. I reckon that'll do it. Let's have a look at that. That's spot on, that is. Right, I'm going to go for a little bit of sharpening. I think we can probably bring him out a bit. Let's have a look at two on that. Two, zero, into quacky, three minutes, 27. Brightness and contrast, let's have a look, see if we can bring the cyclist out a bit, I don't know if. That'll do us, I think. Color wise, colors are great, to be honest, I'm pretty sure. No, we don't know reds out the sun, really. Take the reds down a bit, it just brings the cyclist out, doesn't it? Ooh. I wonder if I can just dodge his face in a bit. I don't know, is that better or worse? Leave it at that. Oh, four minutes 26, crikey. I think we're going to have to go with that. I mean, there's you could work on this for a while, perhaps just to get. I, I, I like this though with the sun, so. Whoa, I think we're going to have to go with that. Let's just take that down a bit. I know I dodged his face out, but I'm going to. I burned his face out. I'm just going to dodge him back in again, I think. Right, that'll do. 4 minutes 54. Crikey. F2, it's being saved. There we go. 
Okay, so this one was shot by Remes. Thank you for submitting your picture, Remes. Uh, let's start with the crop. Now, this truck here in the foreground, it's going to be hard to keep him there without cheating. And I don't want to cheat. Um, and I want to keep this dirt on the back. But yeah, I'm going to have to change the aspect ratio here. 16 by 9. This way... I can avoid having those people there in this sign and still keep the car in the rule of thirds. Now I'm just looking at the tree on the background for the cropping. So I'm pretty happy with this. Now let's go down. Chromatic aberration, lens correction, yes. Exposure wise so far looks good. Contrast, let's give it a little bit of contrast for now. Highlights. Yeah burning a little bit shadows I'm pretty happy with the shadows so far whites yeah bring them down a little blacks I'm gonna raise it okay okay clarity definitely want clarity on this one let's keep going up and go up maybe like this Okay, now, vibrance and saturation. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Vibrance, saturation, not much. Now, I think we lost a lot of detail here on the smoke. Let's see if we can bring some of that back. So I'm just going to put a radio filter. Exposure, yeah, but not four stops. Definitely not four stops. Let's bring it down maybe like that and now let's use the dehaze um, slider to see if we can bring even a little bit back okay you see that that's too much and then it starts to look unreal but just a tiny bit brings a little bit of detail and I, I think that works maybe I should put this further back like this exposure maybe a little bit more yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So this would be my edit. So now, if you press tab, it switches, it removes the side panels, right? And now if you press Y, it will show you the before and the after. Before on the left, after on the right, obviously without the crop. If you press Y again, you go back to the same panel. Press tab to remove the, to put the panels back. You can put the, uh, press the backslash button to see the before and after, which is what I usually do. But you can do it sideways if you want with the Y. Just by pressing tab, though, you get a little bit more real estate in your screen. And again, if you want to go to full screen, just press F and you're done. So this would be my edit for this specific picture. Love the detail. And I just noticed it's a mini. Damn, that's a buffed up mini. Right, nice rallying frame here from Rames. Thanks for sending this in, Rames. Just looking at the horizons, I think it's on a bit of an incline anyway. That's why all the weight's gone to this front left corner. Just looking at these posts here, definitely a bit of an incline. Uh, right, let's go with a 16 by 9 crop for a start. Let's just enter that and we'll just bring those pillars or posts or signs, whatever they are, sort of pretty much vertical. That's not far off. And then people look right, that tree looks all right. Let's just bring that in. Don't want to, I want to keep as much of that dust in as I can. Let's just bring the car down a bit. Looking quite nice. Plenty of space room to drive into. I'm just going to see if the content aware tool can handle getting rid of this truck's rear corner. So hit the L key. Quick drawing around it. Out of the frame. Hit shift delete. So content aware, we're at normal, we're at 100% opacity. Hit enter, let's see what it does. Yeah, that's not bad at that. D to deselect now. There's just a bit of a bit of fluffiness there on the edge of that drawing. So what I'm going to do is just use the clone tool. Just take a bit from there, look. Just to get rid of that fluffiness. Let's take a bit of dark. There, just for there, and a bit there. Just clean that over. 
Bring them stones into there a bit. Let's have a look at that. It's only a quick job, but you wouldn't know that was there, so that's okay. Right, now I've got um, a football action, where there's a bit of contrast, a bit of sharpening, a bit of colours. I'm going to hit that action on this one, so that's my F5 key, so I hit F5 and see what it does. should punch it up a bit. Yeah, that's nice. Happy with that. That's looking good. How are we looking for sharpening? Yeah, happy with that. Might just come in a little tighter on the on the crop. Just lose a bit of that dust, that's it, that'll do. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Let's just take a little bit off here as well. Just a tad, just to get the car a bit central again. Might just move him back a bit. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. F2 to save, two minutes, 42 seconds. Okay, and this one was submitted by Stefan, um, shot with a Nikon D750 7200. Okay, let's go then to chromatic aberration, lens profile, Nikon, where are you at? There you go. Did it pick the right one? Yes, it did. Okay, good. Now, let's go in. Now, crop-wise, unless I do some cheating to remove this guy, uh, I'm going to have problems keeping this guy's head in the picture and there's not enough for a vertical unless I widen it so to resolve all, all of this I'm just gonna go one to one ratio so square and uh, it would actually work out for Instagram for example so this would be my crop now you're at the end of the court on one of the sides so the horizon I'm not gonna worry too much about that because there's no way I'm going to be able to uh, level it correctly. So I think I'm happy with this, to be honest. So let's start working on the exposure. Just raise it slightly for now. Temperature wise. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Okay, now the highlights. Just, yeah, okay. Shadows, actually the shadows look quite all right. I'm not gonna touch them for now. Whites, bring back those bad boys. Okay, that's a little too much. Blacks. You see how without actually touching contrast, you can actually give a lot of contrast to a picture without even going near it. Let's just raise this a little bit. Okay, and now for the extra punch, some clarity. Gonna give it more than I usually do. Okay, let me just. Now, my dilemma here would be black and white or a color. That's my dilemma. Because as far as edit is concerned, I don't think I'd be changing too much more on this picture. Uh, let's check the before and after. So pressing tab to remove the panels, pressing Y. Before on the left, after on the right. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that one, to be honest. I think I'd go with color. Uh, but let's see in black and white if we were to change it. See, black and white looks good on this picture as well, so it's hard to decide, but uh, I think I'm going to go with color. So yeah, this would be my final edit for Stefan's picture. It's a bit noisy, yes. Indoors basketball, it's always going to be noisy. Um, I'm pretty happy with the, with the edit. Simple edit, I think, but uh, I think it works in this case. Thank you, Stefan, for submitting your photo. We've got this uh, basketball image from Stefan Vlieger. I think that's right, Vlieger, Vlieger. Hope that's right, Stefan. Thanks for sending it in anyway. Right, let's go. So I'm going to give it a crop first, and I reckon this lends itself to a square crop. So I'm going to go five by five, just for example. Let's just crop in a bit. Now then, horizon-wise, uh, what do you go on on the horizon? There's not a lot to go on, really. Um, 
obviously this is going to be at a bit of an angle where from where Stefan was stood. So I might actually just centralise the guys and leave it like that, I think. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that, actually. Because Stefan's obviously in the corner of the court, so he's looking across the court. So, yeah, there's no no barriers or anything or, or railings in, in or poles. So I'm going to leave it like that. That'll do for me. Right, sharpening. Let's have a look at the sharpening. I'll just zoom it in a bit. Obviously, it's indoors, so it's a little bit grainy. But I think we'll get away with that. We'll leave it at that. There's a bit of movement in his hand there, but that's okay. Right. Let's go into camera raw quickly. Just see what we can do. I think the exposures aren't too bad. Yeah, that's probably lining it a little bit. Don't want to lose them whites. I need to set up an action, really. Just the clarity, really, that we can bring it out a bit, I think, without making it too grainy. Let's just have a look at a bit of saturation. Right, I'm happy with that. Back into there, then I just want to go on the colour balance a bit. Let's just see what it's like with a bit of, no, we don't want no reds. That's probably a bit better. Right, out of that, into image. Let's have a look at the brightness and contrast. I know I've already done the contrast once, but uh, I'm still not happy with that colour. Let's go back into colour balance, work on the mid-tones. Difficult one, because it's an indoor one, so Stefan's done well, really, with this, to get the colours. Get them right. I don't like that. Let's have another go in highs. Let's have a go at that and just take the... This is proven difficult. No, let's cancel that. Oh, I'm against time here. It would have been 2 minutes 47. Madness. Such an odd colour, really. That's about... I think that's a probably... That's better. Give me a bit of blue. That's better. Now let's have a look at the levels a bit. Let's have a look at that. Bit of noise in there. Let's just go back to camera raw again. Let's have a look at the Let's just. This is a tip I've learned off John today, actually. John Hobley, thank you, John. Let's just have a look at this. Let's go on 20. That's actually not, that's not doing a bad job. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's taken a bit of the noise out as well. Job's a good one. Three minutes, 38. So who's winning so far, guys? Let me know in the comments if you're watching this live. If you're not, just put, it, put your comments down below once you're done watching the video. Uh, I'd like to get some more interaction in the comments. So give us your thoughts. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What did you think of it? Okay, and we have a Komogi picture submitted by Bernie. Uh, Mark, if you've never shot a Komogi match or a hurling match, man, you need to. You're missing out if you haven't. The fastest sport in the world with a ball, and it's just non-stop action. It's really a lot of fun to watch as well, but to photograph, it's one of my favorites for sure. Anyway, cropping-wise, I'm looking at the grass at the very end and at those green poles just to make sure it's straight. I'm happy with this crop, so now let's scroll down to the usual so removing chromatic aberration enabling lens profile canon okay that's a really weird warp let's look at the lens used 400 mil prime lens okay and it's not here and it's basing itself on the 15 mil so let's remove the chromatic not the lens profile and just go on that's okay there's not much vignetting going on either and the warping sh seems to be okay so let's just work on the image without worrying too much about that so a little underexposed let's give it a little bit of contrast as well highlights let's press j yes need to work on that 
Okay, shadows just go in a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whites. It's like I'm removing everything in this picture. That's okay. We'll compensate elsewhere. Clarity. Yes, please. You know, it's funny because I, I don't think I'm ever much off from 30 on clarity. I'm usually around that number. For some reason, I just it just fits with my taste. I don't know. Vibrance. Let's add a little punch there as well. Actually, I'm going to remove a little saturation in this case. Not too much, just a little. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. Let's check the before and after. Yep. Let's press tab. Let's press Y. The before and after. Before on the left. After on the right. Let's press Y again. And tab. And we're back. If you want to go full screen, just press F. And that would be my final edit for this picture. Let's go to the next one. Right, I've got a good picture here of something I haven't seen before. Camogie over in Ireland. Thanks for sending this in, Bernie. Right, uh, I might leave my crop. Now let's go for 7x5. First off, 7x5. Now I'm just going to look at them. Yeah, that'll work out okay. Let's take that up there a bit. Give them a bit of space to be playing into. Not too much space. Right, then post at the background. That's what I'm going to use for my horizons. I presume, let's just have a look at that wall at the back. Yeah, that wall's going away from us, but I think that's how the pitch is. Obviously, Bernie's going across the pitch again. You've got to go by these, really. The trees and these walls look vertical. Yeah, that looks vertical. And the wall is running away from us along, with, along from the pitch. So, yeah, I think I might go with that like that. Yeah, might just bring it in a little bit here. Yeah, let's just bring it in a little bit there. Perhaps there's a lot of space anyway there, so let's just leave it like that. That's ideal. Right. I'm going to do a bit of coloration. 1 minute 14. I want this to be the quickest one. Let's just take that. Yeah, that's better. A bit yellow there. So I'm just going to take that up to there. Take the levels down a bit. Yeah, that's looking quite nice now. That's okay. Right, let's have a look at sharpness first. Oh yeah, we can probably get away with one, 1.5. Nice sharp image, that's too much. So let's go one first, see how that looks. Yeah, that's okay, let's go out of that. I'll just try my football action. See what judge it gives it. Whoa, too much, miles too much. Right, so we'll take it back to the sharpness. Let's just go into filter quickly, two minutes, crikey. Going to camera raw filter. This is not far off at all, this actually. Exposure? No, I don't really need any exposure. Give it a bit more depth with a bit of contrast. We'll give that 15 contrast. Clarity, that's looking nice. Bit of noise in them trees, but not too concerned about that. Let's go 25 on that. Might just take saturation down a little bit that's it that's it spot on yeah I'm about happy with that to be honest two minutes 40 save that two minutes 42 okay and the last picture is by Rob Gray uh, I'm pretty sure people watching this video if you like sports photography and you're on YouTube you have seen his videos I have even done one video with him and he just seems to be a really, really fun guy to be around. Great sports photographer as well. Um, so check out his videos. Just search for Rob Gray and you'll find them. Now, crop wise, I think I'm going to have some issues because I want to keep the ball. I want to keep the goalkeeper and I want to keep this guy. But I think there's too much space below and above. Let's see what happens when I switch to 16 by 9. Yes, better. That's better. 
Now on, I don't wanna cut that guy off at the back either, so probably gonna go like this. Now for the horizon, man, that's a level, that's a level image. I'm not gonna touch it actually. I'm pretty happy with this. Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm happy with this. So let's work on, on the picture. So exposure, I think it's a little underexposed, so I'm just gonna raise it slightly and then we'll go from there. Okay, now highlights. Pretty good. Let's just lower them though. Shadows. Bring it up a little bit. Need to be careful when raising the shadows. Like uh, like Mark said on the last video, you start seeing noise if you raise them too much. Uh, so you need to be careful when you do that. Some people call it grain. Uh, I, I call it noise. I think Mark calls it grain. It's the same thing though. So, so blacks. Yes. Let's just keep checking. Oh, and I haven't, have I? I don't think I have, no. And I know you photograph with Canon, Rob. Was it the 10? 10, 22? I really hope it was. Let me check the difference. The vignetting there I'm not gonna enable it on this one okay so develop let's continue with the edit now texture no clarity just a little bit less let's go all the way yeah that's way too much okay I'm happy with that I don't think I'm going to add too much more to this picture. Let's check the before and after. Yeah, I think I'm done with this picture, to be honest. I don't think... It's fine when a picture doesn't require that many edits. That's a good sign, isn't it? I think it is. So, before on the left. And uh, the after on the right. And, uh, yeah. That would be my final image my final edit of Rob's uh, picture. So this is it, I think. We're done. Did I make it under four minutes? I'm pretty sure I did. Right, nice football image here from Rob Gray. Thanks for sending it in, Rob. Tricky one, this, because I really want to keep that ball. I know We know he's celebrating. The keeper's reacting nicely. Uh, he's sort of reacting a bit. Let's just take it down as a 7x5 crop and see how we get on. I want to leave that ball going across the gold mouth, really. I'm going to take that down to a 7x4. Perhaps make it... I need to get this digital board out, really. Right, let's take it down a bit more. I'm going to lose that player on the right. He's holding his hand out, but... I think we've got to leave that ball in. We've got to... Let's get him at thirds. Right. This goal post... I'm going to go with the stanchions and the goalposts. Goalposts must be vertical, not like unlike Southampton's. I'm just going to... Might be lent back a little bit, actually, because I'm going to go with these here for my horizons. That's about vertical now. What's this? This stairwell's about vertical. That brick wall's about vertical. Oof. Let's just bring him down a bit. You've got to keep that ball in play. You've got to keep it in play. Right, let's just go in. Let's give it my football F5 action. Oh, bit red. <laughs> Let's take the reds down a bit. My action did not suit. Let's just take the reds down a bit. Okay, to that. Oh, I don't know if it's all gone a bit yellow now. Let's see what we can do with that grass. I think we can still probably bring that in a bit more. Got to leave that ball in. It's got to crack two minutes three. Still not overly happy with them colours. A 
Let's have a look at that. That's not bad. I'm just going to go back to the original colours. Right, let's take it all the way forward. Taking a bit of red out. Yeah, that's not too bad. What do it look like? A bit of shadow out. Let's have a look. Come on, camera roll. 2 minutes 38. Shadows. I think that'll about do us. I don't know about clarity. No, I don't want any more clarity. It's giving it too much noise, I think. Let's just have a look at the actual colours in general. I think that's about right. Crikey, 3 minutes 10. <gasps> Leave it at that actually. Gold post looks about white, white, the tones are good, shirts are white. Do we need any sharpening? Could possibly have a quick look. Crikey, 3 minutes 31. Whoa, no thank you. No, we've got enough there, I think. I have got a little bit of sharpening in my action anyway, so. Oh, it looks a bit green still. Not sure, just leave it with minus three. Yeah, right, I'm stopping at three minutes 55. So that's the end of the video. We hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, it helps a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and be sure to follow Mark's channel as well. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take it easy, guys, and stay safe. Mm -hmm.